What's going on guys? Snake Eyes here playing some more Dark Souls 2 and in this video I'm going to show you Majula but not just Majula, some of the hidden things that Majula has to offer. Um, these are some things that you may have gotten on your first go around or may not have gotten. Some things that you might have already unlocked or might not have unlocked but um, I just started off at the entrance of things with Twix and if you come down to this uh, grassy little patch in between these two rocks you can see a little platform that you can jump off and um, from there you can just jump on this trail and that's the way back but don't forget to turn around and pick up yourself a morning star and a cleric's sacred sh uh, sacred chime um, the cleric sacred chime is uh, good for people who want to cast miracles and uh, who are looking to do that pretty early on uh, that's the stuff that you need to cast it and then right here you're gonna pick up a pair of binoculars which actually I learned the binoculars actually have a pretty good um, use for them now back then they used to be just for you know whatever um, whatever you wanted to get a closer look at but now I'm told that the binoculars if you carry them on your offhand from um, from your sorcery cast your um, your catalyst you can actually use it to um, to get a first person aim on where you want to cast your spell so just if you ever have anything focused on the center of your screen and you cast the spell it'll go right there so it's kind of a nice little way to I guess get yourself a first person perspective on um, on whenever you want to cast those spells but you make sure you cast them on the opposite hand that you have your catalyst on and uh, all you gotta do is just keep going straight keep walking straight uh, stick to these walls cuz uh, you know you, you don't want to run the chance of uh, falling off by accident and uh, another thing that you guys may or may not know is um, I'm just going to go and briefly talk about these NPCs. And like I said, you know, you guys don't really have to watch this. You can skip forward a little bit if you want. This is Emerald Herald. Um, she's going to be the main person that helps you as far as leveling up and leveling up your Estus Flask and all that. But she actually has an item that's pretty useful. Uh, I'm probably going to kill her later on so on a different character so I can show exactly what kind of item it is and what it does. But it's a feather and um, from what I'm told the special effects on it are actually pretty good. So that's something that uh, you may want to think. I wouldn't kill her on my first playthrough though. Obviously when you've played through enough um, you know you guys can make that decision for yourselves. Sorry guys I had to cut there. I had gotten a phone call right in the middle of this but um where I was left off I was talking about this guy right here uh, his name is Crestfallen Warrior Saldan and uh, before the Dark Souls 2 game came out they released some you know like comic type of story deal and he was the main character of it um, the purpose that he serves in this game is he's an NPC and when you exhaust all of his dialogue he introduced you to the way of Blue Covenant which is pretty good for PvP um, I'll go into more detail about the way of Blue um, in a separate video because that alone can take its own video uh, these things right here pretty much uh, catalog your deaths as you can see I've already had 19 deaths worldwide um, and another interesting note uh, when you reach a certain amount of deaths you can come to this guy and he'll give you an item but uh, from what I'm told it's upwards of like a hundred um, this I don't know what it is just yet but I can tell that it's gonna serve a pretty big purpose because uh, the things that serve good purpose you don't know right out front you have to play deeper into the game before you can uh, learn that and um, for those of you who have a question on this guy right here which is the blacksmith of the town um, if you guys know you know obviously his door is locked you know the the key is not nowhere in Majula actually where the key is at is in the uh, forest of the giants which if you just go down this path right here um, it'll eventually take you to the forest of giants and you got to go past it and then there's going to be a merchant there uh, look at the keys that he has for sale and you'll find the key to unlock that so that way he can start upgrading your armor and all that uh, the next person that I'm going to bring you to is uh, Marlin and Marlin is actually a pretty cool guy uh, one thing that's not really said or anything like that is if you spend somewhere between a thousand to two thousand souls he upgrades his inventory and as you progress through the game and spend more money or souls uh, with him he upgrades his inventory even more um, it's not automatic you have to go into another area and I'm not sure whether or not you have to beat the area boss 
but you do have to leave the area and come back after a while and then when you come back uh, all his wares would be upgraded so so that's a nice little thing to to um, to look out for and especially if you're looking for new armor he does have a shield I'm gonna go back real quick he does have a shield that if you don't have shields it's a pretty good one to pick up uh, let me see if I can just go through it real quick it's right here the uh, silver eagle kite shield uh, it's a pretty good shield it actually has some good physical resistance it's not at a hundred but every all the stats on it are pretty solid and it's something that you might want to look to pick up and it's a lot better than the iron parma and uh, like I said it's just something if you guys don't got a shield you're looking to get a good shield that's actually a pretty good one to start off with uh, the next person is Shalqua. Um she's not too interesting she's pretty um straightforward i shouldn't say she's not too interesting she's actually very interesting but her things are pretty straightforward obviously um she sells she has she's a vendor she sells a couple of things she um uh, can like you let you check your placement on covenants that you're in she can let you abandon the covenant with uh, no penalty and um every now and then if you come back to her she'll have useful information for you to use um whenever you're um whenever you need it she also sells a ring that you're going to need later on in the story um i wouldn't recommend picking it up right away i'll show you which one it is you have that glint in your eye and the scent of one would quite oh don't feel bad i'm sure and the reason she said that is actually because i've been out already and i've come back so that was actually kind of a unique dialogue that um that i gotten over time and this ring right here the ring of whispers it says it can hear the voices of foes. Like I said, it's a story item. It's not something that you need to pick up right away. You, uh, I'd recommend you use those souls to invest in armor, weapons, levels, whatever you need it. Um, and then when the time comes, come back and pick up this ring. If you have extra souls laying around and you have enough to get it, I mean, I guess get it. But other than that, um, I wouldn't recommend getting it right now. Uh, that's just a little Spartan pit that you can go down and probably collect items. I haven't been down there yet. Uh, I actually want to get down there pretty soon. Um, this, I didn't know, and I left it. I still have one Estus flask, as you can see. Um, if you hit that rock, it'll bring up a body, and that body actually has a Estus flask shard, which you can go to the Emerald Herald, and she'll go ahead and upgrade your Estus flask to two. Like I said, I didn't know that, um, and if you guys missed that, definitely come back I'm pretty sure that can help you out a lot um, before I actually go and upgrade the flask though I'm gonna come up to here and in my previous video I showed you how to join your first covenant which was uh, it's arguable it could be it could be the first covenant it could be the second covenant the first could be uh, the crestfallen warrior with the way of blue and I didn't even pick up this item it's a homeward bone that's actually not bad and all you have to do is just uh, kneel in front of this victor stone and it'll let you join the uh, company of champions covenant and the company of champions covenant is is a pve covenant um basically it gives you a hard mode if this game isn't hard enough for you already and certain enemies drop uh the items that you need to actually gain your rank in that covenant so if you're pretty much in if you're not really into any of these covenants and the game seems a little too easy for you that's actually the covenant that you might want to join and other than that that's pretty much it. There's not really anything else that's too interesting about Majula. Um, well, I shouldn't say not too interesting. Uh, Majula is very interesting, but those are all the hidden things that I've seen so far. If you have, um, if you have other things that I might have missed, let me know because I'm all into exploring this game and figuring out more things about it. And hell, I've been uploading a lot of videos trying to get everybody to, uh, to kind of see what i've seen and maybe that helps them maybe it doesn't and um the comments that i've been getting lately are pretty awesome everybody's been telling me uh things that they've seen and things that they've done and the builds that they're going for it's all really really awesome uh, i appreciate the support i'm actually going to go ahead and upgrade this estus flask um but like i said other than that that's pretty much it i'm just going to go ahead and upgrade this flask and then uh that's going to be that for that video but I hope you guys enjoyed. Uh, leave a like if you did. Subscribe if you haven't already. And until next time, I'll see you later.